what you guys, everyone should be doing this right now with their computer, and that is setting up a scheduled task. Now I run ESET Internet Security on my main PC, and if you've got antivirus program just like this, then you can set up uh, your scheduled task on here to run regular scans on your PC. You can do it for once a week or whatever it is you want to set it up for. So let's go to tools and we're going to go to schedule. Now, if you have uh, another type of software, there will be something in there that allows you to do this. So to create one, we're going to go add task. Now we need to give the task a name. So we're going to call this a weekly scan, something like that. So you can recognize it. You can call it whatever you like. I'm going to call mine weekly scan. In the task type, we can now come down. You can do here log maintenance, system startup check. You can do uh, create a status snapshot or on demand compute scan. That's the one we're going to choose here. So we're going to select that and we're going to leave this enabled and we're going to go to the next button. Now, from here, we need to put a scheduled task to run in here. So we do we want to do it once repeatedly, daily, weekly or event trigger. We're going to do it as a weekly uh, scheduled task. You can see here, skip task when running on battery power. This would be obviously a laptop. I'm running on a main PC, so I can leave that alone. Now we need to specify a task that will run repeatedly every week on a specified time and date and day. So we can see here, we need to put in a executional uh, time here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to put this as 2300 like so you can put whatever you like on yours and you can run this task on the following days now of course i don't want to do it every day i'm just going to do this once a week and we're going to have this running on every sunday or something along those lines you can have yours running whenever you like but every sunday is good for me at 2300 so what we're going to do is we're going to leave that as is you can set yours up how you like to run your scan you can put a pm am in here if you wish but i'm going to leave it like that and we're gonna go next. Now we need to tell the uh, task what to do if it doesn't run correctly. So you can see here at the end of the next scheduled time, and we can also see here as soon as possible or immediately if the time since the last scheduled run exceeds hours. That's what we're gonna be selecting here. But you can choose whatever you want for yours. And you can also see if the task was skipped, the next run should occur whenever you put the radio button in whatever you're doing here. So of course we want it to run immediately uh, after if we skip it. So we definitely want to run it as soon as possible. So we're just going to put the radio button in that one. Let's go ahead and put the radio button in here. So we're going to put it in this third one here. And now we need to give it a time. So we're going to do 24 hours inside here. So let me go ahead and just put 24 in here. The 24 hours will do. And now we should see the red has disappeared and we can now go next. So let's go ahead and select next here and move on to the next part of the process. So now we need to tell the computer what we want it to do. So we can now tell the computer to run a particular type of scan using our profile setup. So you can still in a smart scan here and I want to do a full in-depth scan of the computer once a week. And we've got a computer scan, in-depth scan, which will literally scan every single file on that PC. And that's important because if you get anything that's left behind from somewhere where you've dragged and dropped files, this is why it's important that you run checks on all of your drives, not just your Windows drive. But just for this video, I'm setting this one up just for my Windows uh, partition drive. So just my Windows system. All of the other drives, my archive drive, I'm going to leave unchecked. But if you have got more than one drive, it's always advisable to scan all of your drives uh, once a week. And you can make this time your maintenance day time to do maintenance on your PC, running checks and cleaning up stuff and things like that as well. So I'm going to put a check mark in this PC, but I'm just going to remove some of these other drives here and I'm going to remove these uh, network drives as well. So we've got this set up how we want it now. As you can see here, it's going to scan the boot sector. It's also going to scan the operating memory and other bits and pieces, the system registry and the C drive as well. So the full C drive will be scanned. So now we need to put in a, a path here. We've also got uh, an, an extended area down here for advanced settings. Now inside the advanced settings, now in the advanced settings, we do have scan without cleaning, ignore exclusions, and also action after the scan. And we also have scan cannot be interrupted. 
and we also have the scan may be paused by the user. So you can set this up how you like. So there's a bunch of other stuff inside here. If you want to set these, I'm going to leave these as default and leave them as is. We're not going to check mark or play with any of this stuff. So I'm just going to leave these unchecked marked and click OK. So now we can see a full summary of what we've just set up. You can see here weekly scan and our run our task on the certain time. And all this information can be edited at a later date if you want to make edits to this and make adjustments. So let's go ahead and click finish and we'll move on to the next step. So you can see here we now have this set right here and this is going to run once a week in the background and it's then going to clean up our system if we have any sort of malware or any other sort of files on the system that we don't want on there. So there we can uncheck mark this if you don't want it to run and we can also put the check mark in and we can also delete it if we don't want it anymore and we want to do that. We can also edit it as well and make changes to it. Whatever you want to do, you can do it from inside the tool section underneath the scheduler. So have a look there. So you can also remove this if you wanted to as well by clicking the delete and it will delete that, uh, you know, that schedule from your actual program here. So that is the actual setting up a schedule on ESET internet security. That's how you can run some regular scans on your computer in the background and it will keep your PC nice and clean and safe for you to use. Now it's important that you do this on a regular basis as part of your PC maintenance program. You can do this once a month where you can run scans on your PC and remove any sort of junk files left behind and this will make sure there's no malware or nasties hidden in those areas. And you can run scans regularly on your PC to keep it safe and clean. Now, I hear a lot of people talking about how, you know, antivirus programs are resource hogs and how you don't need them in 2023. And these people don't know what they're talking about. But basically, uh, if you run a system scan on this system, you'll see the impact on it is very little. It's not that bad. We're not living in the, you know, the 1980s where, you know, McAfee and Norton used to grind the PC to a halt when it was running a scan. You can see we're only getting around about 14%, 15% usage here. And, you know, you're going to get a little bit of impact from running a scan because obviously it's running scans on your computer. Uh, and, you know, that's part and parcel of having protection. You do need to have protection in 2023, no matter what people tell you. And you can see here, if I stop the scan, it'll go back down to what it was running at before, which was around about 9%. Or seven percent, it'll go up and down and fluctuate. But again, it's not a massive leap when it comes to running a scan. You can see on the graph there, it's not impacting the system by a hundred percent like people claim it does. And by setting up a scheduled task of our scanner here, it's going to run when we want it to run. So it's not going to be running in the background when we're doing some sort of gaming and stuff like that. Some of these have game mode on them as well, so you can turn it into game mode, so it doesn't disturb you when you're playing games. And it just keeps you safe. Now, it's not like the old days uh, where, you know, systems used to grind to a halt. PCs have become more efficient, more powerful, and software has become more efficient, like antivirus software, where it can run uh, with very low system resources. Uh, so it's not so much of a big issue like it used to be back in the day if you're as old as I am. So at the end of the day, you should have some sort of protection on your PC. And you should set it up and this way it will run when you tell it to run and run a scan and make sure your system is nice and clean. Now, you might have another type of antivirus program. Let me know in the comments section below what antivirus program you're running in 2023. Be happy to read your comments. And also, if you're stuck on setting up a scheduled task like this, let me know down there and I'll do my best to try and help you. I can always help you out on our Discord server. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye for now.